So I found this amazing book on modern quantum mechanics. All right, this is actually incredible. I was looking through the, uh, the, the contents here, and we basically have, you know, the fundamental stuff. We have like Kets and Bra notation and stuff like that. Uh, measurements, changes of basis, the, the position, momentum, operators, and stuff like that, eigenvalues. Um, then we're getting into some more interesting things, like how to derive the Schrodinger equation using the time evolution. Um, you know, then we have the Heisenberg principle and stuff like that, simple harmonic oscillators, uh, the Schrodinger wave equation, like I was saying. Uh, we're getting into, this thing is interesting, propagation and uh, Feynman path integrals. I haven't really uh, looked at any of that stuff yet. Uh, some of these other things are kind of weird, like I don't know what the heck that that, that is. Um, but uh, then we get into angular momentum, which I'm sure we've covered uh, before, some spin methods and uh, some of the, uh, the, uh, the SU2 group and the orthogonal group and stuff like that and ro rotations that we can do. Although I don't know about Euler rotation, that would be interesting. Um, some more eigenvalues and eigenstates of the angular momentum. We calculated these before. Uh, and um, keep going here. So this is some interesting stuff. Uh, we have tensor operators, which I haven't taken a look at. That might be cool. Um, and then we have like symmetries and stuff. We definitely have seen some symmetries here and there, but I'm sure that there's more mathematical, like a lot more mathematical symmetries we should uh, be taking a look at. Uh, then we have some approximation methods. I don't think I've ever really I mean, we approximated some things like the hydrogen atom, the Zeeman effect, some things on the top. I think some approximations that we make are pretty important. Otherwise, we wouldn't be able to solve some of the basic things. Uh, Berry phase is interesting. So that's from a condensed matter as well. Um, and scattering theory. We have taken a look at some scattering for the condensed matter stuff. But ooh, from the future to the past, that is exactly... Wow. Oh my god, this is exactly what we needed. This is this is interesting. Uh we'll have to uh, we'll have to we'll have to go into that. Uh but yeah, low energy approximation, scattering, stuff like that. Um then we have identical particles. Ooh, okay, so things that are basically the same. I haven't really gone too much into uh, a lot of these maths here, but we've talked about these <laughs> concepts, especially the Casimir effect. Uh, that's where sort of particles just appear out of thin air in between two really strong electroplates and stuff, so it's kind of interesting. We have relativistic quantum mechanics, you know, Klein Gordon equation, etc., etc., uh, the Dirac equation, and uh, that's basically going to be the end of this book here. So that's really kind of cool. They're covering all the essentials that we need. So if you take a look at maybe some of the math right here, you could see. Um, you know, matrix algebra, stuff like that, uh, coefficients and spin systems, and you can see transformations, you know, how we probably need to, uh, um, cause that's really how, how we're doing some of this crazy math, the triple sums, what the heck, um, see if we can see anything we recognize, uh, time evolution of the Schrodinger equation, okay. Uh, there it is. Um, and uh, yeah, so this is the equation. <laughs> That's pretty cool. They have this very curly notation. Interesting. Um, energy eigenstates. Yeah, we've calculated some of these and find the coefficient of these. <laughs> I mean, uh, this is so. Uh, so curious. Um, so my elementary solutions, free particles. Yeah, we've sort of had to approximate several different. Well, it's not like we calculated these solutions; they were sort of given to us. You know what I mean? So, like, what's interesting here is that we know some of the basics. We have looked at some of like um, the solutions, the equations, but we haven't actually calculated many um, ourselves doing any of this uh, of matrix algebra and uh and vector you know solutions and rotations we've done a few but not too many um so just kind of look through this a little bit more we got some angular momentum stuff uh, we know about these little square root equations you be able to solve for the uh the numbers the quantum numbers just requires a <laughs> square roots and some sums and stuff it's interesting and Let's see, angular moments. Um, looking at here, angular momentums, more of the same stuff. 
some Hamiltonian stuff. Um, degenerate cases, time and event of perturbation theories. There was one actual particular uh, equation that I did want to take a look at, which we had um, which we'd seen. So, and then, then we'll call it a day. So it was this one crazy thing that was scattering from the future to the past. So 376. Well, let's just take a look at that page. 376. 376, 376. If we have time. Okay, scattering from the future to the past. So we can picture the scattering process as evolving backwards in time from a plane wave state I to the future to a state N in a distant case. So we write a form of solution like this, which is a form of suitable taking from T naught to infinity. T matrix is defined by regularizing the internet, uh, the integral from the opposite sign. Um, different sets of states. Hmm. Evolving backwards in time from a plane wave state of I to a state N. I think maybe what they're trying to do is like recover the, uh, the transformations as I think that was kind of what we were trying to do as well through like the different zero points is to like send a transformation forward and backwards through the zeros I think that's what they're doing through like time um, because uh, otherwise it would be a little bit maybe they're doing like a differential or sorry an integral through time and they're de deteing each of those little bits um, I over H bar integral. This seems to be like the, uh, this is like, uh, the Schrodinger equation integration or something. Um, anyways, this is some crazy stuff from crazy math. I don't know what the heck these quantum mechanics, uh, physicists are doing, but this is a really interesting book, Modern Quantum Mechanics, third edition, uh, and, uh, JJ Sakurai and Jim Napolitano. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have fun.